Hello everyone, Christina here. It is that time of year again, meaning that it is time for brand new Art Impressions stamps. I got a box in the mail last week and I can't wait to show you guys. We're gonna jump right into it. We're starting with their brand new Bible journaling set. I'm gonna zoom in here. By the way, this is the 2020 release in January, beginning of the year. Um, this is brand new for 2020, obviously. This is the Hydrangea Border Set. So pretty. It's part of their Bible journaling line. You can see the, move these down. You can see the size of these stamps here. Um, just for comparison, this is the size of a standard A2 card. So you could use that along the border of, of a standard card. So it's not just for Bible journaling. It's really great for card making as well. That's the Hydrangea border set. Next, we have another border set, which is the Poppy border set. So pretty. Once again, it's kind of that same size. We also have a Blossom border set. And this one I think is even longer. Let me check. It's about the same size, about the size of an A2 card, but the length of an A2 card. That is the Blossom border set. So pretty. I love that it's all one big piece so you can start watercoloring right away. This one is the columns set. So you have, you know, this lamp post and a large column and a, like a wreath type shape. You can see the size of those right there. Next we have a rugged crosses set. So there's two different crosses, some nails and some words as well. You can see how large those are. Those would be a really good size to create an A2 card, like maybe even for Easter, something like that. Um, got a couple more items in the Bible journaling line. We've got the wood frames set. This is really great because you can pair, you could even put those, um, the border stamps. This is kind of like what they've done here. You can put the, the flower border stamps on top of the frames. You can see the size comparison there. They can be used together. And then the last part of, oh, I don't know if that is necessarily a Bible journaling line, but it does have the Bible journaling items used on it. This is a bookmarks die. So, well, perfect for Bible journaling. There we go. It's a nice big bookmark die. It's got a little cutout up here so it can catch the top of the page. And then you have all this space right here to add some stamps or some shapes. I think this um, goes beyond just Bible journaling. I think this could be a bookmark for a lot of different occasions. It would be a good kind of a nice gift to give. All right, we're moving along to the watercolor line. This is such a fun line. I'm so glad they're adding more and more to this. If you're unfamiliar with the watercolor line from Art Impressions, um, they have a lot of different like foliage sets and flowers, things like that. And so they like to come out with additional structures or containers or things that you can use along with those floral and kind of leafy stamp sets. So, and they usually give you a few new like kind of elements to use as well. This is the large cabin set. Looks like you've got a couple different cabins. Here's the size on those. And these are cling. These are not clear, they're cling. Just because cling stamps grab on to the watercolor marker pigment and ink better than like a clear stamp does. So that's why the, this line from them still has this cling rubber. All right, so that's the large cabin set. Here's some more of that like flower foliage set that I was talking about. This is flower set four, some nice kind of wild flowers. Here's some more items to add to your scenes. This is the wrought iron set. I love this, the little kind of like uh, Parisian table and chairs. I think it looks so cool. You can see the size on those, they're quite petite. We have mini cabin set, which I think is really great because if you want to do start, sort of these like from a distance scenes, you need smaller structures. So that's kind of neat, these smaller cabins. We have a lamp post set, which I think would look really nice paired with the wrought iron set. Some whimsical kind of looking lamps. This is the large birdhouse set. I think these are some great ways to add all of those floral images. Here's the large shops set, which I think is what they show 
yeah, here we go. You can kind of see the other half of this painting over here along with the wrought iron set. So you can use these two together. I think that looks really, really pretty. By the way, if you're looking for more instruction on how to use these watercolor sets, over at the Art Impressions YouTube channel, they do Watercolor Wednesday each week. Um, but believe they're still doing it. And you can see tons of examples of how to use these watercolor stamps in your own crafting. All right, moving along. We're going to go into some of their new interactive uh, project kits. They're so colorful. Um, all of these come with um, the specific dyes you need to do the, the special areas. But there is also this die right here that will cut out the window. So for example, on all of these, you're gonna have this sort of like rounded top window cut out. And then there are these individual let me scoot this down. These shapes right here that fit inside the window. So these are special shapes for the stamps, but this window is what you need for all of them. So, and I like that they've also included like a greeting to cut out. So this is the twist frame die. And then all of these, this whole stack, they're so cute, are all of their twisters. So this is uh, their twisters, twist sets. This is the Easter set with this cute little bunny. It's got the front and back. And if you don't want to make it the little twist and have it, you know, and include the dies, you could just put this little bunny on the front of your card and have maybe have this on the inside. So you can kind of that front and back look. So here's one. This is the bird twist set. This bird, <laughs> love it, is wearing sunglasses and a tiara. So, so cute. Love that. Of course, there's a kitty. I'm so glad that Bonnie always includes a cat in these. This is the cat twist set. I love that it's like a, a plump little furry kitty. This is the llama twist set, which I have not seen very many llamas in my crafting, <laughs> in my crafting experience. So if you love llamas and I think they're just so funny, um, this is the set for you. This is the llama twist set. This dog looks so happy, <laughs> so happy at someone's birthday. This is the dog twist set. Here's one that has flowers. These flowers are really pretty. I think you could use them separately without uh, making it a twist card. I think it will look, would look really nice. Looks really cool. Here is a heart twist set. This would be perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. This cute little mouse holding a big puffy heart. Here is the cake twist set. So a very elaborate cake with lots of candles on top. All right, so those are the uh, twisters, I guess, or maybe just twist set. This is a new project series for our impressions. I think they're so cute and they really lead into it with a lot of different options. All right, they have some additional, um, some new like project sets that they've added to their current lines. This one is, a cubbies set and it has a cute little bunny with a mailbox and letters to go inside and this is actually a really big set because the stamps are really large which I love the cubbies project sets from the past I've always had very very small images sometimes it's a little hard to to handle unless you're very meticulous so I'm excited to see um, some larger images for these Cubbies project kits, project sets. So super cute. You've got uh, like even the slot on the bunny so you can put things in her little apron that she's holding. Such a fun little set. We've got two circlet mini trifolds. So you can see it's got like three parts. It's dimensional. You've got three different circles to choose from, including the dies that cut out each individual shape. This is another one that would be great for birthdays or just any sort of, um, looking at these gifts down here with the treats. You could, it could be for a baby shower, a bridal shower, birthday party, tons of events where you're having kind of like a tea that's special with presents and gifts. This is the tea circlet. And then this other one is the tropical circlet, which I think that sounds lovely right now. Currently, we're in the middle of a snowstorm here in Utah, so anything away from the snow sounds good to me. Um, I love this that you've got like this, let me see if you can see it over here, this like leafy frame right here, and then you have this very tranquil image with just the chairs and the umbrella, and then the sun setting. 
perfect awesome. And the outside grading says, wishing you a bright sunny day that's perfectly perfect in every way. Such a fun set. So that's the tropical circlet. All right, we're finishing off with the clear stamp set. Some of them have dies. This first set um, does have dies included. This is the birthday cake set. Tons of different birthday cakes. I love this image. Um, these are, I think these might be some cakes that are similar to other sets they've come out with in the past. I love having a set with all birthday cakes so I don't have to go through and rummage through my stamp sets to find just the one cake out of a huge stamp set. So these are really large images as well. I love that they've um, enlarged a lot of their images so it's a little bit easier to color and there's dies included. Perfect. Here's the wedding cake set. Kind of the same idea with slightly larger images. Dies are included so you can see how large those images are. Here's a clear stamp set with just a very basic alphabet set, which I think it's great. Um, I'm always looking for good alphabet sets. So this one is, let's see, I don't know if I have a name on this one, but the item number is 5284. All right, now we're into um, some girlfriends. I know some of you love the girlfriends line from Art Impressions. Here are two new stamp sets. This one is called We Are Here Set. So these girls are surprising their, her, their friend. And then this one over here is called Practically Perfect Set. Love them. They're just ready to party down here. Really great greetings as well. All right, we've got a few of these really long, clear stamp sets. So this one is Be Happy Laugh Lines. So tons and tons of greetings along with one image of this older lady down here. I love that there are so many different greetings to use. This is a really kind of different um, arrangement for our impressions. I really like it. I like having all the additional greetings. Here's one called graduation set. So this is gonna be perfect for all of you who have gra grads in your life coming up this year. Lots of great greetings. I love this giraffe. Um, this elephant on top of the world. Awesome. All of the hats flying. Such a cute stamp set. This is graduation set. You can see how large those images are. This one is the frog set. So for any of you who love frogs or toads, this is the set for you. So many cute punny greetings. Art Impressions always knocks out of the park when it comes to punny greetings for your stamps and cards. I love these. So much character. All right, and then here we have another um, kind of mostly greeting stamp set. This is Dance It Out set. And this one has an older gentleman down here at the bottom. He seems like he's dancing. So many great greetings. Love this. So funny, I love it. All right, the last two stamp sets I wanna show you are actually larger stamp sets. I think they're six by eight with really large images. And this one is called Greenery Invites. So if you want to create some invitations for parties or uh, bridal showers, baby showers, birthday parties, anything like that, this is a great set for that. In fact, there's um, all of your uh, text is up here as well as some really large images. Awesome. Love this so much. I like how large those wreaths are. And along the same idea, this one is floral invites. The other one was greenery invites. This one is floral, so you've got some flowers, add a little bit more color. And it has this really kind of trendy frame right here that has kind of the um, irregular shape that's very trendy at the moment. Um, you've got your RSVP, save the date, kind of the same idea as the last one. And just like that one before, these images are rather large. I love that. I love that Art Impressions has um, a variety of sizes included in this release. Okay, so that is the Art Impressions release for January 2020, or I should say the beginning part of 2020. All of these are available over at the Art Impressions website. Um, I think all of them, or nearly all of them, are available at simonsystamp.com right now. So if you want to pick up any of these stamps, now is the time to do it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in another video very soon. Thanks for watching.